I'm making a prediction that the U.S. Supreme Court is going to overrule the Ninth Circuit in a case involving union representatives getting access to private property. The California Agricultural Labor Relations Board has this rule that says that agricultural growers in California are required to allow union representatives uh, to come onto their property for as long as three hours a day and as many as 120 days a year. So the three hours, that would be an hour before work, an hour after work, uh, and an hour during lunch. And the question in this case is whether this results in a taking under the Fifth Amendment so that the government is required to compensate the growers for that taking. There's no question about whether this uh, rule is valid. Uh, there's no question about whether it's a smart rule or an unwise rule. It's a question of whether this is a taking that requires compensation. Both parties agree that what the government has done is take an easement. And what the board is saying is, well, it's not all the time. It's not continuous. It's intermittent. Uh, it's only 120 days. It's only three hours a day. And there's limitations on what these union reps can do while they're on the property. And the growers are saying, well, yeah, but that doesn't really make any difference. If you take an easement, that is per se a taking under the Fifth Amendment. And the fact that it's intermittent and that there's restrictions on what the union reps can do, that goes to the amount of compensation. It doesn't go to the question of whether it's a taking uh, in the first place. And I'm predicting uh, that the Supreme Court will come down on the side of the growers and say that, yes, this is a taking. Uh, the distinction between all the time and part time uh, really doesn't make any difference. And I, and I say that not because I think the Supreme Court has some bias in favor of management uh, or some uh, ax to grind against uh, unions. It's that this new Supreme Court has shown that uh, it's willing to put much more vitality into the Bill of Rights. And this is a case where I think that's exactly what they're going to do. The case will be argued probably uh, later in the spring, and we'll get a decision by summer.